I'm choking. I got a brownie in my throat. Hold on. All right, we're all set. Hi, it's Ray from Pro Shaper Workshop in Charlton, Massachusetts. We're back on the Healy again. You've heard that about five times. It's the sixth time, I think. So what we did was we made these formers, and these are doing the same thing that we did with these little quarter inch by one pieces that we bent up on the side here to make sure that the, the uh, flow and, and the curve was correct. You can see we made these totally symmetrical. We've got them bolted together with all thread, and we've got them indexed up against the edge here. And this has a big gap. It's about an inch. These were cut to fit nice and tight right against the aluminum skin. We didn't put the bevel on and we want this bevel to be in it but we didn't have a chance to get that done. But it still should work fine. But this front has got a big, uh, maybe Mark can get it from this side over here. See that whole thing has to come down. This will have to be adjusted I believe too. And I think we got a gauge for that, but I'm not certain. But um, th this is the first one, and then we'll probably have to follow through with this. Now, someone mentioned that the grill opening is out of whack. We know that. We're going to set that to, that's another agenda. And then we also have this, which is out of whack, too. But right now, we're going to try to get that hood and uh, try to get those parallel with each other. Right now, these are the exact same size, and if you eyeball these up, these are a little bit askew, like this. So, we're going to set this on the welding bench, and we're going to see if we can pound this down. So that fits on there like a glove on this side. On this side, we have quite a bit of gap. So, we'll monitor that, we'll hit this here. And we'll monitor that and bring that down. Right now, if Mark brings the camera over here, right up in here, you can see this big gap right here. And if we go on the other side, you can see how it fits on the other side. See how it fits really nice and tight? So that's what we got to do. And we're up against the front lip here. And that might change a little bit because this will probably drive forward as we knock this down. So we're going to get a slapper and we're going to try to hit it with this leather face slapper at first here. And we want to monitor our progress. So I can put my finger through there, no problem, right at this point. So let me hit this a little bit. Uh, Alright, Eric's holding the back down because it's kind of seesawing a little bit here. And we're going to hit this down. And did we get any mo motion? Now I couldn't could put my finger in there. Nope, it didn't close up too much yet. So let's give it some more. Alright, that's closing up. We're down to about uh, three-eighths of an inch here now. Now it's messing this up, but this is all going to be dispersed this way, and that's probably going to open this up. Remember, we were narrow here from the flexible shape pattern. I got this down. That's going to have to come up. But we're down to uh, about a quarter of an inch now. Three sixteenths. Now we got a little bit of seesaw here. Okay, so we have to put We'll put uh, a blanket up in here 
to act as a fulcrum. So let's get a blanket. We'll put the blanket up there. That'll act as a fulcrum and allow us to bend right in the middle there. And that'll pull that right down. This one's laying down nice. All right, so Eric put the uh, blanket under there. That acts as a soft fulcrum. He's gonna hold the back down and we'll, we'll be still hitting here. Knocked off our joint here. This is coming together really nice though. The metal is just lining up perfect right there. It's just like an old jigsaw puzzle just coming right together. So, do we have the rock now? Nope, it's gone. The rock is gone. Let me see. No, it's in. All right, it's up about a sixteenth of an inch still right here. Do a little more. Yeah, put the put the blanket in a little bit more. And of course, this is all has to be ironed out now. That took some abuse beating on it. So nice. Now it's sitting nice. It's almost there. Just in this little section. It might be just this sheet metal part of it right here. There we go. We're up against it now. So that has to be ironed out. That's a few minute job. Let's take a long view here and let's look at this. And uh, again, Mark can insert the, the original pitcher. We still got that headlight bucket to solve. This is much better. It's still off a little bit here. And we have that grill insert. Let's try that. That'll tell us a bunch. Oh, yeah, it goes this way. We can't get it in right now with the... Uh, the form is in there, so that'll come later. Now I'll see if I can uh, smooth this out a little bit, and let's get the flexible shape patent. Let me go get that and see if that opened up any. All right, so we put the flexible shape patent back on. Hold that right there, Eric. And we're really close on this edge, the way it's supposed to be. Now this wasn't fitting at all before. This was a big gap under here. And now, and it was um, hanging out a lot before. Now it's only hanging about a, a sixty, uh, no, more about an eighth of an inch. Over here, it's almost a quarter. So it's still got to go this way a little bit. We got to stretch that out, and that will happen with these gauges. So let me get number gauge number one and gauge number two, and I believe that's going to show us that we need to stretch that out. And the way that's going to stretch out is when we iron this out especially this valley. The valley comes up a little bit. It'll open this up. So there's gauge number one. And it's not off that bad, except we got to pull over this way. This has got to spread. So gauge number two is off a little bit more. So that's what we got to do now, is we got to take and make that gauge fit. We've got to move this over a little bit. There's gauge number three same deal on that. Using our tools, which were the MDF formers here that we made up, cut them out on the bandsaw, we've got them bolted together with some all thread. We've got a nice box structure and it's all parallel. So it's sitting on that bench that's a nice flat top uh, welding bench. And we have the flexible shape pattern. So these are all inexpensive tools that we've used to, to ensure the accuracy. So now we need to iron this out a little bit, make these gauges fit better. This, this got bugged up somehow. We gotta fix that. That's just rolling it back down again. We'll fix that edge. We'll fix this edge, iron this out, and we'll see where we're at. All right, I already knocked this out a little bit. I just
just rough it out for now and then we'll finish it off really nice after. You gotta do the same thing on this side. That's that nice gutter. Then we'll take our bar of soap dolly. We're just going to hit it really, really light here, if I can get in here. Now it looks like the form is going to be in my way. Should be able to get a little bit, but not too much. Where these original factory wells were, um, they probably filed it, so there's some thin spots right in there. It's a little, little tricky where they, they filed it. It's a great working height for me now. That's a, a really important thing is to always try to get to a, a comfortable position. And that wasn't any plan or anything. We threw this on the bench and it's just perfect for me. So. Now what you look for is um, the little impact area, you'll, it'll shine up a little bit. This, this has got a, a satiny finish and every time you hit, it'll, it'll make a little shine spot because it's printing this surface onto here and uh, it, it gives you the ability to see your hits really easy. All right, so now that gauge tells you a lot of stuff. What does it tell you? See, it's hitting right here and it's hitting right here. So I've got to move the metal around. And you, you watch these gaps get better. Now this is a little strong here and it's weak here. It's weak here, it's strong there. It's getting better and better. All right, and this might have to come up. It's a little flat here, so we might have to pound that up a little bit right here. I've got that nice tapered end. I can drive that up into there. Okay, so still high like here. All right, we don't want to try to get that perfect yet. It's a good idea to bring them up a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. So that one is right here. And we really need to make some gauges over here. We haven't made those gauges yet because I think this, uh, this radius is off 
as we mentioned in an earlier video right here. So we have to get those gauges made further back. Try hitting this whole thing down here. That'll bring it out a lot wider here. Yeah. yeah, that worked pretty good. Back over to two. Look at two now. Oh my god, that's perfect. Now, number one. Number one, right here. Let's see how that goes. Right, number one. Again, I think we need to bring this whole deal down. Uh, Eric, can you hold that right there while I hit this? I think that'll bend this whole thing over. And you can see we got to move out a little bit here. So again, we'll have Eric hold that and I'll see if I can slap this out some. Well, that didn't help too much. Well, it looks like we've got some bugs right here. Let's see. Oh, that's right where the the former is. So that's got to be where it's got to be. We're pretty close. About eighth of an inch now. Try it one more time. See if we can. Maybe the uh, the other slapper. Still an eighth of an inch. No, it's a little less. A little less than an eighth of an inch now. Let's move the valley over a little bit. And it looks like it could come up a little bit. Still have the mystery of this overlap here on the uh, on this flange. Some of it I think is squashed out, and that's why it's overlapped. Right there seems really razor thin. So. Well, it's getting better. That's definitely better. Let's do that again, Eric. Headlight bucket. Pretty close. This is diving in. You can see that's diving in. I think I'm going to have to take a caulking tool and knock that out with the former out of the way. That's pinched in a little bit right there. We still gotta make that uh, headlight ring. Didn't get that finished yet. But that that uh, radius there is almost where it needs to be now. So we got a lot of ironing out to do here, and I can't do it with that former in there, so we'll have to take that off, put it back on after we iron this out. So let's see if uh, Eric and I can lift this up, we'll put it on the other bench, iron that out and put it back on the former. Now we have it in a nice user-friendly position, I can get my dolly under here, so I'll bring this up. 
situation like that, sometimes you can raise the dolly at the same time you're slapping. I'm going to take the heel and get that little spot right there. Now, pretty soon we'll be able to ink this up and file it and find all our lows and highs with the ink. Now, a few people have made comments that this is all cracked and the metal's trash and oh, it's terrible. They don't know aluminum. They don't know aluminum. There's no cracks here. There's, I think there's one little crack here somewhere and it's not an issue. There's cracks on the flange here. We're going to have to repair those. But as far as where all that heavy damage was, and this edge was almost kissing this edge. It was really bad. I think, yeah, there's one, maybe, is that a crack right there? Maybe a little crack right there. That'll weld up, no problem. You never know it was there. But Ray, you're hitting it so hard, you might stretch the metal all out. Not a problem. We'll take the torch over here. We'll put that uh, lead shot handbag in the back and we will shrink that right down and the flow and everything will be perfect. The biggest problem we have is this original weld seam. You can see the, the original weld seam. This has been filed so it's, it's a little softer there because of the weld and um, it's, it's going to be a little bit more work just to get that back to where it's supposed to be. We will though. I think what I'll do now is uh, we'll just get a magic marker and we'll mark this up to see what it looks like. Um, we got a, the 5 8 Magnum magic marker. We'll just do this little quadrant right here. And um, if you take the slapper and when you put the magic marker and you, you glance and glow like this, it'll wear the marker off and then you'll reveal all the highs and lows that way. So that's what we're going to do. They can go like this too. So there's all our lows. We got to bring those up. Now, this dolly, like I said, has this nice taper. I can put that right up in there. The, uh, the metal steel piece we put in there is causing a little bit of a clearance issue, but I think we can still get it. And some of these issues is uh, limited space and access to it, and um, it, it actually boils down to you really have to develop your slapper and dolly techniques. And it's, it's relatively simple once you get the rule structure down. Um, in the process, like I said, you, you're raising these dents up, you're going to make a few little high spots. So right there might be a little high right now. We'll bring the torch over here, just warm it up a little bit hold the bag, the, the soft bag behind it, go like that, and that, that high spot will go right away. So this is ironing out pretty nicely. Not perfect yet, but we'll get it. Mm. 
You should be able to see those little spots shining up. The low spots are big and then as you're, you're planishing, the low spots get smaller and smaller and smaller. So that's starting to feel a lot better. Get a little action over here. Now we can take a file, and we're not going to remove any material. We're just going to scratch it to get the uh, the marker off, and it'll give us a better reveal on where we are with the uh, the highs and the lows. And we might bring the torch over here too, and we can bring some of those highs down. We might not have time to do that tonight. Let's just get the file and you'll see the great improvement we've made right here. So each one of these spots will take 10, 15, 20 minutes. There might be three hours of planishing to get that smooth. And essentially if we get from here to here smooth, that's the upper section. Then we have to concentrate on this lower section. We roughed this out the other day. So we still have a few problems. We got to get this grill just right. And we will sew this up pretty pretty soon. Right now it's coming together perfectly. And we got to get this bottom edge. We're going to have to make um, some kind of either a former or a gauge for that to get this bottom edge just right. So we got a real fine body file here. If anyone's looking for these body files, you still can get them from uh, Ferd, P-H-E-R-D, the German. And most of the, um, the welding supply stores are dealers for Ferds. So there's a situation so that that seems low relative to these these might be high but let's bring this all up a little bit and you'll see just that little hit will have an impact you see how it, it found those little highs right there see This corner is down, so we need something in that corner. This is where you take that little edge of the dolly. I we'll have to go this way. We'll put that up. And that brought it up a bunch. All right, so I hope you get the idea. We're going to be doing more of that. We'll check this other section on the bottom out. All right, uh, remember that the uh, contest, the apprenticeship contest, uh, Mark and I are going to review all the uh, written essays and the uh, videos that were sent in, and the ones we've looked at so far are just amazingly uh, done amazingly well. And uh, we're going to be picking the winner and, and winners uh, and we hopefully we'll find uh, one winner that's uh, going to be able to come right away and, and I think that will uh, build some audience uh, participation and being able to watch what that winner does and to see how they come in and how they're uh, changed by the 10 days. I think that'll be pretty exciting. We'll be announcing the winners to the 10-day apprenticeship uh, contest on Thursday's video, but uh, that'll get published on Friday. So 
So remember, please subscribe, give us the likes, give, hit that little notification bell, give us the comments, ask some questions in the comments. I've been answering a lot of the questions. Thanks for watching. It's Ray from Pro Shaper Workshop in Charlton, Massachusetts. Hope to see you at a class sometime soon. Thank you.